Laboratory Animal Environment Macro Environment Factors within the animal room which affect animal health Light Temperature Humidity Ventilation Noise Factors in macro environment Can affect animal's behavior, health, and physiology If they affect the animal's health it also impacts the experimental data. Environment required by animals may not be comfortable for researchers, caretakers, etc. Factors too hot or too cold can induce stress in animals. If temperature exceeds 80 F, adult mice may suffer from heat stress. Dogs and rabbits may adapt more readily to a room that is cooler than rodent rooms. Humidity acceptable range of relative humidity is 30 to 70 percent. Prolonged low relative humidity is related to a disease called ringtail in rodents. Can produce respiratory problems in certain lab animals. High humidity can result in respiratory problems and rapid spoilage of food. Ringtail in a young rat. Picture courtesy of Canadian Council on Animal Care. Ventilation. Proper ventilation or air exchange helps eliminate noxious odors such as ammonia, from urine. Proper ventilation also helps reduce the number of airborne microorganisms and maintains desired temperature and humidity. The guide recommends rate of 10 to 15 exchanges of fresh air per hour. Ventilation positive or negative pressure? Positive kept at higher pressure than surrounding rooms. Opening a door to a positive pressure room causes air to flow out toward the hall, which helps prevent outside contaminants from entering. Ventilation negative, kept at lower pressure than surrounding rooms. Opening a door into a negative pressure room would cause air in the hall to flow into the room, thus keeping airborne contaminants from escaping the room. Ventilation. Animal quarantine and conditioning procedures, usually conducted in rooms with negative pressure. Special rooms designed to contain hazardous agents are also under negative pressure. Ventilation Positive pressure, surgery suites, barrier rooms and some animal rooms are maintained under positive pressure. Lighting Should be evenly distributed and bright enough to permit techs to sear the animals. Lights on timers need to be checked regularly. Long exposure to bright light can be a problem, especially for albino animals. Noise impossible to completely rid of noise. Best to try to reduce the amount of noise in animal rooms and outside of them. Cats, certain rodents, guinea pigs and rabbits do not respond well to noise. Sometimes investigators may request that a radio is playing in an animal room as background noise. Helps reduce the startle factor. Types of animal rooms conventional or barrier maintained. Barrier maintained, designed to prevent entry of disease into a room or prevent disease from the room from getting out. Animals in these rooms are frequently considered as specific pathogen free, SPF. Facility security. All lab animal facilities have some sort of security. Locks on outside doors. Computerized card entry system. Keys, access codes, and cards should never be given to any unauthorized person. Cage washing room noisy area. Should be done away from animal rooms and offices. Well ventilated. Quarantine, isolation. Condite toning. Quarantine, place where new animals are placed. Allows us to monitor for any signs of illness before putting in general population. Conditioning, period when animals are in quarantine. They are getting used to their surroundings. Isolation, animals are placed in isolation when they are ill with a contagious disease which can be passed to other lab animals or lab personnel. Feed and bedding storage Feed and bedding normally stored in two different areas. Both must be vermin-proof and dry. 
bags of feed or bedding, should be placed on shelves or pallets away from walls. Environment should be constantly cool and dry to prevent spoilage. Dead Animal Storage and Disposal Deceased animals are normally placed in plastic bags and either frozen or refrigerated until they are destroyed or removed from the facility. Microenvironment Factors inside the animal's cage which can affect health. Food Water Bedding Enrichment <laughs>